Hey everyone, welcome to World of Fusion 360. In this video, we are going to design the pinion. You might have seen this part in tractors, lorries and heavy trucks, right? And it was requested by Nikhil Chittigar through Instagram. So without further ado, let's get started. I'm gonna create a sketch on XY plane. We are going to design the uh, gear teeth profile and we are going to make three more such profiles scaling in three different planes and then we'll use loft. See on the keyboard, draw a circle of 37mm dia. And now I would like to draw one more circle justly above the one we have created before. D on the keyboard. Let the distance from these two circles be 9mm. And now I would like to draw a line from the origin. L on the keyboard. Draw a line from origin straight to the circle that we have created. Press escape and I would like to convert this line into construction. Select that and press X on the keyboard or you can select it from here. Perfect now that we got it. And now I would like to create the profile for the gate tooth. And to create select arc and select three point arc. I would like to create the arc roughly and then I would like to mirror it about the line that we have created. Perfect. D on the keyboard, let the distance between these two points be 3 mm and the distance between these two be 8.5 mm. The radius of this arc be 40 mm. Perfect. Now that our sketch is fully constrained, I would like to trim off the extra entities that we have now. T on the keyboard. Just drag by holding the left mouse button. Perfect. Now that we have the teeth perfectly at 12 o'clock position, we would like to create the one more teeth at 45 degrees we'll make it by offsetting plane select the plane or profile anything is perfect and the distance be 16 mm now that we got that construction plane select it and create a sketch See on the keyboard, draw a circle from the origin, let the diameter of the circle be 34mm and repeat circle and draw a circle like this as we have created before the distance between these two circles be 9mm. You got it right? This is the constant teeth height. And now L on the keyboard, draw a line roughly like this and then convert it into construction. Enable origin in that way we can define the angle between these two entities. Let the angle be 45 degrees. Perfect guys, you're doing great. Yeah, the Sketch one is uh, kind of disturbing our geometry, right? Hide it to have more convenience in creating this sketch. Repeat three point arc and draw an arc like we have created before. And now mirror it about the line. 
press escape and just adjust the profile so that we can have dimensions easily D on the keyboard let the distance between these two layer points be 3mm make sure that it is aligned and the base distance be 11mm let the radius of the arc be 40mm perfect guys trim the extra entities by pressing T on the keyboard and hold left mouse button and simply drag dot solve I'm going to offset the plane again let the distance be 32mm this time and now create a sketch on that plane For convenience, I would like to hide my sketch too. See on the keyboard. Let the diameter of the circle be 51 mm. And draw one more circle. Let the distance between these two circles be 9 mm. Draw a line horizontally. And now select it and press X on the keyboard for making it into construction. So as you have seen we have created a line in here and a line in here and a line in here. Correspondingly the gate tooth profile right. And this is what drives the spiral angle of our pivot pinion. You can change these lines so that the profile of the teeth changes so the spiral angle. You got it right. And now create the teeth profile using three point arc. I'm going to draw it roughly. And then we write about the line. Awesome. Adjust it roughly. And then D on the keyboard, let the distance between these two points be. 3 mm and the distance between these two points be 12.5 mm and the radius of the arc be 40 mm the thickness of top face didn't change because we have to maintain the two root thickness constant that's why we didn't change the thickness of the top and you can see this kind of gears in almost all cases but there are certain gears that will have variable top thickness just based on that change the thickness in different planes that's all you need to do and for every type of gears like this uh, the bottom distance changes because uh, the bevel angle increases right so the circle at the bigger end is larger than the smaller end thus we need to change the bottom thickness so that the distance between the teeth becomes constant and that way it perfectly meshes with the bevel perfect guys T on the keyboard we'll just trim off the extra entities that we got like we did before and now we got three profiles the only thing that we got to do is handle this greedy sketch the sketch 2 sketch 1 we need to provide the guide cover for the profile in that way the lot will be perfect if not it will assume other entities to match up or it won't give you the exact profile you want I would like to select spline and then I want spline between these three points Carefully select these three point guys. Perfect. Click on that green check mark if you are done. We got beautiful curve there. As you can see. Perfect. And now switch to solid tab and select loft. If you don't find loft here, you can find it under create. Select it and select the three profiles through which the loft has to be created 
as you can see the profile in here the top face of the teeth is not perfect that is because we haven't given the guide curve i would like to select the rail and select the spine that we have created now that it is perfectly aligned as you can see awesome guys you did great am i going too fast i hope not click on okay make sure that it is new body obviously it will be new body we haven't created anyone yet and now enable the three sketches again repeat loft you can repeat loft using marking menu too you know that select these three profiles and now make sure that it is new body good good hide the sketches we got the teeth profile and the cone i would like to hide this body by selecting it and pressing v on the keyboard and now select this face and q on the keyboard the offset distance be 0.5 mm just enable the body and make sure that it is in contact with it don't worry with the excess position we'll combine it all right i'm going to use combine to match these two now that it got combined with the body and now i'm going to use circular pattern to create more entities select circular pattern and let the type be phases and select these three phases let the axis be z and the number of instances be 10 make sure that the preview looks good and click okay now that we got the beautiful gear that has large spiral angle you can find the spiral angle with the line drawing tangential to the profile and now we are left with one more step that is we need to create the shaft for this pinion all right let's do that create a sketch on yz plane and disable the 3d sketch we no longer need it and now i would like to intersect this face but before that i would like to hide all the sketches in that way it won't interrupt our flow and create select intersect under project include select this face and click okay now that we got that line created let's draw the profile roughly make sure that it is not having constraint draw profile of pretty like this make sure that this line is taper and then this line be horizontal and a vertical line like this and a horizontal line from here and a vertical line one more horizontal line and a vertical line and do one thing just trace the horizon in that way we would get perfect line close the profile perfect let's define this d on the keyboard line distance be 5 mm i would like to use equal constraint making these two lines equal the distance between these two lines be 22.5 If you observe, it is not perfectly coincided, but we'll make it constrained using horizontal vertical constraint. Select these two points. In that way, it will fix there. You got it right. D on the keyboard. Let the distance between these two lines be 25 mm. 
and the distance between this point and this line be 15 mm it got deformed but that's okay just adjust it press D again let the distance between these two points be 14 mm and the distance between these two points be 64 mm and the length of this line be 10 mm distance between these two lines be 12.5 mm and for these two be 9 mm and the length of this line be 27 the length of this line be 45 now that our sketch is fully constrained switch to solid tab and select revolve select the profile and the axis be this line or select Z axis make sure that it is join and click OK as on the keyboard search for thread select this face and leave all the defaults and click OK and now we need to import the bearing and that to taper roller bearing under insert select McMaster car component and search for double six double seven K91 yeah it got filtered out and click on product detail and make sure that you select 3d step and click on download it imports that into our fusion current workspace and just roughly position it and check capture position and click ok press J or select join from here and then trace the center point of that face select the center point of this face in here and make sure the motion be revolute and click OK now that we got position the bearing we need to provide the key slots for the shaft select this face and create a sketch draw a line and select X on the keyboard for making it into construction draw a rectangle and that to center one draw it roughly like this and the height of the rectangle be 1 mm and the width be 6 mm select this line and make it into construction and now we got this profile select it and press E on the keyboard let's do it all the way up to this point make sure that it is cut and click OK now we are going to create a pattern for that feature select circular pattern and create under type switch to features and select the feature from here or from the timeline let the axis be the circle and the number of instances be 5 and then click OK now that we got this these things are uh, might different from different manufacturer I'm just creating these roughly guys so that you can get basic idea select chamfer for this edge there's a chamfer length be 1.5 and click OK we forgot to create the chamfer in here for that I would like to go two steps back select the edge and create chamfer let the chamfer distance be 2 mm and click ok now bring the timeline forward now that we got that beautiful chamfer there and we got it patterned and it looks perfect this is it for today guys i hope you like the video and thank you mr snickle for requesting this video thank you so much for watching this video hit that like button if it helps you and subscribe to World of Asian 360 for getting notifications each time when we upload new video like this. Thank you so much guys. Have a good day. Bye bye.